Kill that ghost. Kill that skeleton. Let none leave alive. Although they're, you know, kind of dead already. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Craft the World. We haven't uh, played this game in quite some time. There's been, like, some DLC and all kinds of stuff released for it, which is pretty cool. We survived a monster wave. We got uh, 50 minutes to go, so probably sometime in the next episode we'll get to that. All my little dwarves are resting up at the moment, which is a good thing. I do think uh, we're going to have to craft some more foods and things like that as well. Let's see. Three feedings? Yeah. We should probably do this. That sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, a little bit of meat, a little bit of leaves, and coal. Piece of cake. And uh, I'm sure they want like a diverse sort of meal, so let's uh, also get some eggs. Mmm, eggy wags. That's right. That's good for you, isn't it? Uh, mixed green salad. Hmm. I'll suck a cock on the Golden Gate Bridge before I serve you a mixed green, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's put some berries on the table as well. Here you go. That's pretty nice. Just gotta keep them well fed. That's, that's part of it. Let's see what we have here. Skeleton's mace. I don't think I'm gonna find much use for that quite yet. Um, but there's quite a bit that we have left to craft, I do think, before we can uh, unlock the next tech tree. So let's uh, let's have a look at what our skills are now and what we need to work on a little bit further. So we've got advanced iron working. We need fortifications and then we can get into advanced construction. Um, and then we've also got advanced illuminating, which I haven't touched at all. Wall lamp lighting stand. Yeah, I guess, I guess they could use some light in there, couldn't they? So let's see what we can do about that. That would be quite a nice treat for them, I do think. There's a wall lamp. We've got some glass yet. Uh, oil. Dang. There's not too many of those. But we have enough. So, alright. Do that up. And, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like I can make anything else. I gotta figure out how to make some more oil. Let's see, we need stone, we need berries, I have plenty of those. And a bottle, I've got plenty of those as well. So good. Do it up. Do it real big. And then I just gotta basically wait for them to uh, get that all put together and whatnot. Quite a bit has changed in Craft the World, and um, it still feels like the same game, which is always a good thing. But, yeah. All the DLC and things, they're like, hey, you want to spend $3 for female dwarves? I'm like, nah, not really. And then uh, they also have a multiplayer option, which costs money. I don't think it should, but, you know, I'm not in charge, obviously. So it might be cool if I had other friends that were into Craft the World, but, um, yeah. I have trouble wrangling anybody to even play Terraria with me. So <laughs> it's rough. It's rough life. Rough going, you know what I'm saying? This fucking sheep is on the run, dude. <laughs> this dwarf is trying to hunt him down so bad. This is hilarious. We need some Betty Hill music or something. Oh, oh, he almost hit him. He almost hit him. Did you see? Did you see? He almost hit him. Um, it looks like we're going to need a bit of help to get this coal over here. Hey, the sheep is stuck now. Cool. Get him. You done, son. Delicious wool. Mmm. Everybody likes wool. And then, uh, was there some stuff I was working on down here? Yeah, it seems so. So I'm gonna open up a portal. That should be helpful. Just to, uh, get my dudes where they need to go and whatnot. Um, and also I've probably got some more food. Yeah. Look at these here eggs. Mmm. You guys want me to stack up this table with eggs? Dang! Fucking eating good over here. Tell you what. All right, here we go. Uh, I think this is silver ore, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't because it's been a long time since I played this. Uh, protect your home. Yes, we shall. Advanced illuminating. Yeah, we got to build a few fortifications and things like that. I do think. 
Wooden cage. Hmm. Holds monsters for short time. Well, that's not bad. I'd like something a bit better. Let's try these wooden traps. We need more wood. That's what we need. Dang. Alright. I can at least craft enough to get me through basic fortification tech. Alright. Super duper. So we've got fishing now and advanced construction. So scaffolding. Dang. Does, does my building need support? It doesn't seem like gravity is a thing in this game. So I'm not really sure what to think of that. We've got the advanced illuminating to do, so let us work on that just a little bit more. Round window. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, yeah, let's make some more of these. I got some oil. I got some glass. Wood is what I'm short on. So yeah, let's try and get some more wood. Wood is good. There we go. Let's do all of this, and we'd be happy. Oh yeah, we happy. We'll just cut all these down. That's fine. And uh, I've got 11 coins. I don't think I really need anything from the Giants, or the Grunt Shop. I don't know why I said Giants Shop. He's not a giant, is he? Oh, and there's gold here. You get that. I really like how they have uh, little meters and whatnot now, as well. So you can tell how fast you're mining, how fast your fortifications and stuff like that are breaking. So, yeah, Craft the World has seen some major updates. I applaud the devs quite heartily, indeed. And, uh, oh, we got a dude under attack. I think he's got that fucking mace. Squish that bug right up. Tell you what. And uh, we probably need some more beds, don't we? Perhaps so. I need to get some more wood first. Alright, we've got nine dwarves, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds. Yeah, so I do need one more bed, but I gotta get the uh, the trees going first. They're doing it. They're doing it up real big. We could also collect some water. That might be a good idea. For some purpose. I'm not quite sure what yet. <laughs> but that's how it go. Yes, I would go out here and craft the world. Hmm. And I seem to have been doing something here that I can't quite remember what it was. So, um, yeah. I'll just, I'll just patch this up with dirt. That's how that's gonna go. And at some point I'll, I'll remember what I was trying to do. Maybe a second house, something like that. A second little, uh, hole that they could crawl their way into. That would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? We got shingled roof, wooden bridge. Hmm. Wooden bridge seems like a good idea. We can easily cross the water and stuff. I mean, I do have those little, uh, what are they called? Platforms, I guess I'll call them. But yeah, wooden bridge, wouldn't that be fancy? Hmm. I don't make quite enough. Well, just go ahead and make 20. That's fine. And then, uh, I'll need to make some more planks. So how can I make planks with a shit ton of wood? Great. Super duper. Let's get a portal open. Then they can just uh, cruise. Cruise their happy asses on over. And uh, drop things off in a timely manner, you see. Hmm. It seems like I've stripped most of this land of wood. That's That's bad. Let's go portal here, and we can kill all this stuff. All this stuff. Get rid of it. Chicken, boar, boar. I want all this meat. Wood and meat. It is good to eat. There he goes. <laughs> I'd love to watch him chase those animals around. Dwarves are silly, boy. I'll tell you what. Under attack. Oh boy. Seems like we're gonna win out on that one, doesn't it? If he can actually hit hit that fucking thing with his little bow. Yeah, we've got a really diverse uh weapon set on our characters now too. Which is super cool. We've got mages, we've got archers, we've got uh warriors up in your face. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. 
What's going on over here? Knock a bug down from the tree? Yeah. I figured as much. Have a new task now. Fish is a perpetual convenient source of food. Make a fishing rod and find the nearest freshwater pond for fishing. Hmm. Probably gotta craft some ladders. That would be a good idea. It's not silver ore, it's mithril ore that I'm mining down there, isn't it? I think. I don't really know. But I'm going to make some ladders, and um... Is it possible to, to make this fishing hole a little better? I think that would be ideal. Hmm. Alright. So we climb up there with our dudes. And then uh, we'll start to clear this out. I think that's a good idea. And the water should uh, start to flow down there, if I'm seeing that correctly. It's also nighttime. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's always scary at night time. And I need some more lamps and shit like that too. Another portal. Go ahead. I ain't using all this mana. <laughs> don't just let it sit around. Go ahead. Use it up. We got a rune. Ooh, what is this? This stone tablet is part of a, some kind of mechanism. Could it be a key? Ooh, let us hope so. Indeed. Advanced construction? Wow. This trap is complex. Place traps in animal habitats to catch the animals. Ooh. I see. We got fish fish recipes. Fishing rod. How can I make this fishing rod? Got one piece of iron ore. How about a rope? We got a rope. Do I have enough wood? I do. I do have enough wood. Alright, cool. So, uh, somebody's gonna be a fisherman. Probably John. Do I have a dwarf named John? I could make him a fisherman. <laughs> it's a primus joke. Um, bucket of worms increases efficiency of the fisher skill. Hmm. Fascinating. Alright. I'll make that as well. Why not? Now, who should be a fisherman? That is the question. Warrior, Miller, Climber, Carpenter, Mage, Smith, Fisher. You're the fisherman. I tell you what. Oh, I guess I gotta craft up that, uh, that thing first, though. Well, I'll just give him a bucket of worms. Just so he knows his job. And, uh, do we have another fishing book? Warrior book, Archer book, Mage book, Miller book. Maybe I should give this guy the Mage book. Yeah, that would be good, right? Here, use this. Oh yeah. Now he's better. He's better at casting spells. But he doesn't even have a magic staff. Wow, I should be uh, swapping some things around here. This guy's a swimmer. Little swimmer. And we'll swap that. Where's my magey? Magey. And... That guy gets uh, a mace now. There you go. We got a lot of fucking maces. That's amazing. Uh, where are my lamps? Yeah, I probably need to put a lamp. This item can only be placed on a back wall. Wait. That's a bummer. Oh well, I should have uh, suspected as much. Oh, and now we've got zombies. Zombies incoming. Yeah, it's night, you know. The zombies always come out at night. They are under attack. Yeah, don't worry about it. We got it. Look at this. All oh, the slaughter. My god. The only thing I really fear is monster portals. And uh, they ain't nowhere to be found quite yet. Got a good long time to prepare. But I'm sure once they come, uh, I'm gonna get my butt slammed just a little bit. That's alright. We hang in there. A float increases efficiency of the swimmer skill. Leather and resin? We got a lot of resin. Leather, plenty as well. We need more rope. That's what we need. Just in case this playthrough goes wrong. Get some rope. Hang oneself. Yeah, wool. 
or are we short on wool? Because it only comes from those sheeps. And uh, not just any time you find a sheep either. Sometimes you find a sheep and they don't have any wool on them. What the fuck is that? You gotta wait for like shearing season or something like that? Well, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some mining done. That's what dwarves are wont to do. Don't you see? Make a little underground shortcut. So we can be safe. I guess. In theory. Go ahead, you guys. What are you guys doing? Bang. There's so many fucking dudes coming for us, and they're just like, eh, don't worry about it. Alright. Get some more, uh, some more mana. Get it spent. Oh, look at this dude. He's fucking gung-ho. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. What kind of army you got there, bro? It's like plus 20 to dodge or something like that. He's not dodging. He's getting hit. But he's hitting much harder than he's being hit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to bed. Go to bed, little dwarf. I'm trying to select you. Go into the stockpile. Just, just go to bed. You're fine. Oh, it also shows the pathing of the dwarves. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> I really like that. Still under attack? Come on, guys. We got this. Don't be a fucking punk. Um, I suppose we could put a light up now. Just for some convenient night fishing. Ooh, fancy. Alright. Let's pick all of this out as well. Good job. Look at him go. They know what to do. Hell yeah. Alright, now we need these as well. I'm just trying to make a fishing hole. It'll be a much better fishing hole once it finally rains again. Hmm. The ladder here. Then I can pick this last one off. Yeah, this could be like a gigantic fishing hole. That would be uh, pretty cool, I do think. Come on, 30 seconds left on that portal. Get through it, boys. Skeletons are all going home. Good. Excellent. Somebody can go get that wool for me as well. That would be fantastic. I'm not going to make a portal or anything. Because, uh, my mana is gonna run out, eventually. Someday. <laughs> I mean, not today. Um, should I make portal? I just told myself I wasn't gonna. But now I kind of want to. I hate setting all these rules and restrictions for myself. Look, here's a book. Cookbook. Also, the poisonous mushrooms and berries erroneously included in the previous edition have been removed. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried that I would eat some erroneously included berries and mushrooms. <laughs> what? 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 Alright, so it looks like things are going pretty well here. This guy just needs to put a ladder up. Then we can get these, uh, these final little bits. Go ahead. Put the ladder. You didn't bring a ladder? Yeah, you did. I know about you. Alright. Another piece of stone down. This ladder can go here. Not enough resources. Oh, come on, man. Why oh, you always gotta do this to me? Um, yeah. Make me some ladders! Always need a lot of ladders. And we should take this one back. Pick this stuff out. It's gonna be fantastic once I'm able to uh, get this get this all together and make it a gigantic fishing hole. I mean, I've leveled this <laughs> entire right side basically. This is exactly how I want things to be over here. Now I just have to work a little bit more on the uh, the left side there. And we should be cooking. We'll be cooking, good looking. All right, let's dig over here. And then we've got some ore to get to, like so. 
And I'm under attack again? How could this happen? So these fucking shadow creatures. Oh. And goblins. Oh crap. Alright dwarves, lock it down. Please don't die. Please do not die. Don't freak out. Just, just, just... Go to bed. Take a rest. You're fine. Oh god. This is bad. This is really bad. Go rest, go rest. Oh no. Too many gobos. Shit, man. Come on, just beat them. Beat them to death. Go rest. Save yourself. Dwarves are now allowed to leave the shelter. But, uh, please don't. <laughs> Unless you're healthy. I'm gonna have to pick my healthiest dwarves. Oh my god, that guy almost died from a fall. Alright. Sleep, sleep. No, no digging. You sleep. This guy can go over here. Fight. Fight with all your might. Everybody with low health should be sleeping. Go Betty. Go Betty bye. Come on everyone. Forget the resources. We are fine. Okay. Six of them are sleeping. Three of them are working. And killing that goblin. Get rid of him. A foul headshot. You okay, Roin? Roin and Oin and Gloin? Feely and Keely? All of my, uh, my dwarvish pals? Even the Lord of the Rings novels? Oh my god, are you really missing? He's fucking standing right there. He's not doing nothing. I don't know what you want. Alright, anybody who is still awake, please go and kill the, uh, the Goblin Queen there. We can loot her shit! That's the nice part about goblins moving in. It's like, alright. You did now. What else do we have for... Tech tree. Still need that advanced illumination. Portable lamp. Where's the iron ore? Damn. That's what I really need. Horn spell. Yes. I probably need this. That's what I really need. Um, where's that? Horn spell. I need the horn spell, please. Thank you so much. I guess that dirt would be useful, too. Magic light? No. No, I'm not really in the market for that. Thank you. Put the dirt there. That's fine. This is taking so long. You guys. You enjoying your nap over there? You good? You fucking, you having a good time? Oh, Roin. You're the only one who knows how hot it can be. <laughs> oh, we gotta find some iron. I think this is all iron down here. So I shall, uh, mine my way towards it, I do suppose. Uh, let's get this placed. Not, not up there, down here. Alright, and then we can mine all of this out and get down to the mother load. The mother load! God knows I need some iron. So, uh, when, when anybody wakes up, you just feel free to head on over. Head on over to the goblin hut before they fucking respawn and we all die. Huh. Oh, and now it's raining, so this should be filling up with water, right? Kinda? A little bit? Not really? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. And now night is uh, upon us once more. I should uh, just get through this little bit of night, destroy the goblin encampment, and then uh, we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go!
Uter is still sleeping. We need to get rid of these rats as well. They're probably stealing some food, doing some nastiness. I think this is the, uh, the rat stuff right here. Yeah. Gotta keep my house clean. Dwarves don't know a whole lot about cleanliness, though. It's so sad when that happens. How are you doing over here? Yeah, he's gonna destroy the goblin encampment by himself. <laughs> what a fucking champion. Uh, everybody else still sleeping? Mm-hmm. Gotta keep them nice and rested. Um, but yeah, I should probably be building some traps and things like that, right? Basic fortifications. Mm, advanced construction. But I need iron. I need iron to make the locks. Fart. Fart and a half. Alright, we got some rope. Grain? Can I get some grain? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Can I use my brain? Apparently not. Apparently it's a lot easier said than done, eh? Alright, let's uh, get some wood over here. We'll make a couple of these. Very nice. Oh my god. You guys, just, just taking your time, aren't you? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I shouldn't have put them all to bed. That's the secret. That's There's your problem. They're lazy. You're just like, hey, have a nap. And they're like, okay, I will. Okay, I will. How did this big fat guy get past the trap? That don't make no sense. Well, finish off this rat hole. And then we can, uh... Hopefully direct everyone to come and attack this dude. Before he destroys my little construction foundry. That ain't gonna be no good. Alright, that's done, right? You guys good? Hooray! We got a bunch of grain and shit. Oh boy. We need defense on the eastern front, boys. Hello? I'm just fucking talking to myself here. Alright then. <laughs> Nothing new there. Come on, come on. This is real life. You are under attack. So I am. So I am. There we go. Goblin encampment destroyed. We've got some nice defense going over here. From what I can see, at least. Kill that ghost. Kill that skeleton. Let none leave alive. Although they're, you know, kind of dead already. It doesn't mean I'm going to let them get away with some shit. Alright. Well defended. Well done. Now let's, uh... Get some stuff going over here, yeah? Yeah, yeah? I like it. And I could get some fishing. Fishing done. Wouldn't that be so nice? Where is that fishing pole? That damned fishing pole. There it is. Alright, who did I designate? Who's got that bucket of worms? You! You right there. You are the fisher. The fisherman. Your new name is John. Hmm. Why am I not seeing the fishing pole? That's terrible. That is terrible. Iron axe, iron pickaxe, steel club. Hmm. I thought the fishing pole would be here. Somewheres. That's terrible. I don't know what happened. What am I missing? Fishing pole. Yeah. The more rods you have, the more dwarves can go fishing at a time. Well, wouldn't that be so nice? If I could equip them, that would just, just be absolutely wonderful. Oh, you're missing a, a backpack or whatever. 
Here, have this. Mr. Miller. Climber, carpenter, mage, smith. Hmm. He needs a fishing rod. Why he no get fishing rod? Well, it be what it be, I guess. There's another portal. Under attack. In the underground. Down in the underground. David Bowie wears some tight ass pants. Are you into that? I know you are. Especially if you're a creepy person teenage girl. Anyways, friends. <laughs> what a note to end it on. Dawn has broken. This has been Craft the World. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always, always appreciated. Uh, just watching this far is extremely appreciated as well. I'd like to remind you that we also have links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, that would be massively appreciated as well. Thank you so much, you heroes, you lovely, lovely people. And uh, I'll see you in the next one quite shortly. I promise we're not going to go on another, like, six-month break for Craft the World. And uh, we'll fight some monster waves and progress some technology. And it's going to be a good old time. So join us for it. Anyways, thank you so much. Once again, I've been Brandon Dania, humble narrator. This has been Craft the World. I will see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.